Okay, I just got home with another purchase off Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, and this time it's another Raleigh chopper. And this one is a Mark III, obviously, and I'm going to be honest with you. In fact, I'm just going to stop right there and get it down out of the truck. <laughs> All right. What I was starting to say is, uh, I'll be honest with you, when I went to buy this, I, I first offered the, the guy, <laughs> I lowballed him at a hundred bucks, and he wasn't having any of my horse crap, so uh, he came back at 225 and uh, I hummed and hawed for a month and then threw out a 150 offer, and still no had to be 200 minimum so what my diabolical plan was was to buy this bike for the sole purpose <laughs> of scavenging it for parts on my 75 maybe 76 mark II Raleigh chopper so I would want you know the rear tire well I would just go ahead and do the whole thing and put it on my Mark II and suddenly my Mark II is riding but when I met up with the fella uh, I mean I looked this thing over and it is like new I mean look at this little flaw here this little mark that might be all I can find on it this is absolutely like brand new out of the store and I mean even the knobbies are still on the tires I just you know you can see down here well probably not against the grass but maybe a little bit pedals like look there's absolutely no wear at all on these pedals it's like they've never been used no rust on anything so there's no way I can tear this bike apart I just I just can't do it so what it's gonna be is my woman's bike my lady's bike she doesn't know it yet because she's not home right now she'll be home in a minute but she really doesn't even ride bikes but when I get mine out and we start riding these together, I mean, what could really be more cool than that? I was, I mean, I was gonna scavenge the rack and I thought, well, I'll get the shifter, you know, cable and everything off of it, run it down to the stick shift on my Mark II. But this, there's not even a mark on the seat. There's still like the red from the made in China flaws. So no one's even clipped the thread to, uh, to clean that up. And yet, as much as I hate these BMX seats, BMX seats on these choppers, on the Repop ones, I might just leave this bike completely original. I mean, yeah, on mine, I customized the seat because I really didn't think they were ever gonna be valuable. I thought, you know, you can do whatever you want to it. Mark three, nobody cares. The die-hard chopper fans don't even consider these choppers, right? Well, guess what? They're 15 years old now. It's become an old bike. And to get one factory fresh, this is not a barn find. This one has been stored in the fellow's house for years and years. So couple hundred bucks later this one is mine slash my woman's <laughs> so and I'm not tearing it apart for the parts uh, I just hope somebody along the way recognizes my plight um, 200 bucks for a bike like this that's perfect brand spank in new condition is cheaper to tear this bike apart for its wheels and its three-speed um, Sturmy Archer shifter hub 
it's cheaper to ruin a completely good bike like this to restore an, an old bike with its parts and um, it's a shame so yeah I need I need a red line rear tire for my mark II. I need a chain guard for my mark II. and on the shifter I need the linkage that runs the shifter position indicator and I think that's all I need but I'm not just do not even message me with these hey I got that stuff just three hundred and fifty dollars plus shipping and all kinds of different things you know it's just not right that only billionaires <laughs> can restore a mark II. it's it's a shame that enthusiasts someone that just wants the bike to be put back on the road and ridden has to leave it in a shed back there hoping to stumble across some of these little bits these little parts at a reasonable price you know the seat on it I paid a hundred bucks for the whole bike and the seat on it is probably worth three hundred dollars according to eBay and such people personally I think the seats worth about 30 bucks but it's what the market has done to these things so well there they are folks two of them together I uh, haven't checked the uh, year out on this new one um, I mean I really don't know how yet I got to find uh, I know I checked the year out on mine my original one I bought 10 years ago at auction for 80 bucks and it came out as a 2004 so I'm really hoping this is also a 2004 the fella thought maybe it was from the 90s but we all know they weren't made in the 90s and uh, the English folks are probably just just rolling their eyes at that whole debacle right well, I think it's better than this debacle. What, what, what were they thinking? I mean, oh, yeah. Anyway, I mean, is it really possible that this is the only Nick? And there's actually a chance that I just put that on there, moving it, but I had a piece of foam in the truck and I was very careful. So I don't think, I don't think I did it. I believe that's a tiny scratch there, but it's so shallow, I think it would buff out. Eek. Really? This may as well have just come off the floor. Oh, look at that. Okay, so somebody went ahead and ruined this bike. <laughs> Alright, not ruined, but uh, there is some scratches on the fork there. This side. The side is absolutely clean. Clean. Oh, we got a mark. Another mark. So, I've got three areas on this bike that has a couple of chips. So, three little spots. Now, we go to mine, <laughs> which I thought was in fantastic shape, and I got. I got little stone chips. This is a, I was going to brag to him about the condition of my bike. But now I'm realizing his is so much better. I got, oh, oh my god, look at the fork. What have I done? <laughs> a lot of this will just polish out, but geez, I don't know. I might have done that in storage. But this, I don't think so because I remember it. Um, having a bunch of chips. Oh, it's a shame that it's even up in the in the text there So it might be a little tricky. I thought maybe a little bit of uh, the right matching nail polish or sample of paint and a toothpick might um, get this one Somewhere comparable to this one, but I mean th At least this one has dirty tires <laughs> The tires are clean on this one. I mean the tires are even clean unbelievable well there you go I feel a little bit um, silly humming and hawing letting this go for a month and a half before I finally went and bought it 
Imagine what you can get for 200 bucks in a Mark I or Mark II. <laughs> for 200 bucks, you can't even get the seat. You know, for 200 bucks, you might get hand grips or a pedal. But uh, that's awesome. I'm so happy that I went and got this. Kind of neat. Still has, I don't know what these are, some kind of tag on the spokes. Five, just says five. Looks like the one on the front's gone, and yet the one on the front of mine is there. Oh, five and 28. So what's that mean? Number of spokes, I don't know. I'm not going to count them right now. Man. You know, I'm almost tempted <laughs> to swap over my bars and seat onto that one and put that one back on this one just because the paint is so ridiculously much better on this one. This bike, probably the hand grip is a little dirty for me just loading it. Uh, something was on the bar here. It looks like I see little lines going around. I'm not sure if that's some tape. I have another set of bars, obviously, because when I put those high-rise bars on, I kept my original bars on, on this one. Um, but really, uh, that might just be goop. I don't know. I might be able to just use a little bit of polish and get that off. So yeah, everything is absolutely perfect on it. It runs perfect, it shifts perfect, the brakes are perfect. I really don't like the position of the handlebars because I'm tall and lanky and those bars would have to be tilted forward for me. But at least, unlike the Mark II and the Mark III, you can loosen these and adjust the bars forward a bit. But I gotta set this up for Karen and uh, it may already fit her. You know what, we might end up with the odd ding here and there. But if this was a mint Mark II or Mark I, it would have to go, you know, it would have to hang on our wall as jewelry, as art. But it's not, it's a Mark III, so I think it's okay to ride these. You know, the, the values one day will probably go crazy for some reason but we're going to enjoy these ones. We're going to ride them. All right, that's all I got. I'll see if I can get this thing rolling again when she gets home. All right, from Ontario, cheers.